Cleveland Browns, uh, that's not, what? That's not him. Cle I'm going to do it anyways. Miles Garrett is the, uh, the number one overall pick from last year. Doesn't look like Kevin Durant, but he's a fan. Um, and he also doesn't think that Kevin Durant should have switched teams and has got many opinions on it. Here he is on Cleveland Radio yesterday. Katie broke the league. You you hopped onto a 73-9 team, and, and he took the easy way out, in my mind. With Katie, you just stick him in, and he scores. I mean, you, you already knew what they had. They were 73-9 and nine before, and you, know, you put you know, the second-best player in the world on a already all-time great team, and of course you're going to have you no know, success. And, Pretty easy success. Anybody could have an off night and still, you know, be able to, you know, find a way to win. If I were him, I wouldn't have never made a move like that in the first place. Me, I'm too competitive to try and, you know, ride on somebody's coattails to, to get a, a W. For him, I mean, you might as well stay at the spot you're at now. There's no point in leaving since you, you've already, you know, taken that moniker or where he's been called the, the snake and the cupcake and all that. You know, you might as well stay and just keep on winning. It's as mm. if they didn't think the rest of us would ever hear that interview. Mm. Um, look, he's a second-year player in the NFL. Um, the never say never comes to mind when you hear him say, I would have never done that. What do you think? Do you think a lot of athletes share this thought? Yes. A lot of athletes but, do share this thought, but it's not just athletes. A lot of fans. But he didn't ride any coattails. He was wearing the coat. Like, you can't say he rode coattails. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. Let he is an important part of that. Would you like me to explain to you why Yeah, you but can? you're not, you're not going to be right. Okay. But, yeah. Riding a coattail means we had success before you arrived. Oh, I don't know what it means. So therefore, it's they, Dave, David West is riding coattails. That's riding coattails. They they won a championship before he arrived. Right. They won 73 games before they, he arrived. I remember people arguing with me: Would this be one of the greatest teams of all time before he arrived? Right. And then he arrived. And he doesn't have to lead from the front. When, when Miles Garrett says all he has to do is show up and score, here's what he means. In the first game, or the first game of the NBA Finals, KD didn't have to be spectacular because Steph was there. In game two, yeah, KD played a lot better, but Steph hit nine threes. In games three and four, KD got going. Now, this also sounds a little bit personal with somebody that now plays in Cleveland. Right. They lost to... They, that's who they played in the NBA Finals, so it seems like he's trying to ride for the for the, I mean, he, for the Cleveland, and rightfully sure so. But Bob Myers alluded to it at the press conference, so we didn't make this up. Jalen, he was kidding. He was being sarcastic. But he said it. <laughs> that's not that's not a thing. <laughs> there's two different pieces to this. There's do a lot of people feel this way, and there's do you want to hear this from Miles Garrett, right? Those are two separate yeah. parts of the story. I'm willing to give the Miles Garrett piece of it the benefit of the doubt that he's on a Cleveland radio show. I'm sure he was asked the question. Which I kind of So love. he's responding to it. So I have no problem with that. But as we just kept listening to it, he obviously just kept doubling down. He really did. Again and again and again and again. And there is a party that wants to say, you know, you're talking about one of the great players of all time. Listen, if it's his opinion, he's entitled to his opinion. But there is something I would think about a pecking order in the sports world that does make a part of me want to say, hey, you know what? <laughs> Prove yourself a little bit. You were the first pick in the draft on a team that went 0-16 last year. Prove yourself a little bit before you start talking about KD. Teachable moment for everybody watching and listening. Yeah. You don't have to be an all-pro player to have an opinion. No, I guess, but... I, so I, I, so well. what, a lot, what a lot of people are going to do today, whether they agree or disagree, those that disagree with Miles Garrett, Instead of talking about the content of what he said, they're going to be talking about what he's not as a football player. But these are the same people that are fans and supporters yeah, we of all the have games an that have opinions about right, things right. that the point we're is, not the greatest at. To but, me, but, the lesson is never say never. You cannot say you would never do that. You also can't insinuate that Kevin Durant's not competitive in the same sentence when you say, me, being the guy I am, I'm super competitive. Okay, well, I would assume everybody playing professional sports is somewhat competitive. But, What's the, but the that, point? but that, but that like happens in this industry. Like, as as a, as a former basketball player, in my mind, I try to break glass ceilings. One of them is like when it's NFL, when it's when it's NBA Finals time, in NFL players are talking about the NBA. Yeah. But when it's NFL time. And I'm talking about NFL. People are gonna sit back, like, let me make sure we know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, sure. Yeah. It, it's the exact same thing for a woman. You never played in the NFL, but what? that doesn't take away. Don't be so defensive. It doesn't take away your opinion Jaylen, on the sport. When did your sarcasm say, radar break? The, 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 like, the, what happened? The, the, to the it? same. The same. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just. I'm just talking to you about generalizations. If we were gonna talk about football, yeah. if we were gonna talk about football right now, 
You can have an astute opinion. Right. And as somebody that's a longtime journalist, people are going to listen to what you say and not say you did or didn't play. Well, they same, will say they didn't play. Sa didn't play same though. with you. But as somebody that played basketball, it's like, what is he doing talking about football? It's the exact same thing with Miles Garrett. Yeah. You said, should he be saying this because he hasn't accomplished much as an NFL player? Right. The only thing you need to have an opinion is a brain and a mouth. That's it. Oh, I'm yes. not mad with his opinion. It's his opinion, just like your list of greatest teams. It's your opinion. I understand what you're saying, and I don't totally disagree with what you're saying, which is better than usual, so let's leave it at that. <laughs>